Dogs have an instinct to chase things, especially my dogs because they're retrievers. But here's a really great question. Do you have an instinct? Do you have common sense? Do you have logic about what's going to work for your body versus what isn't? Now my girls, for some reason, know that they can go swimming. So they learnt, they've learnt how to swim and they jump in the water and they just go. But as a human being, we get told a lot of stuff. Dogs run on instinct. Humans, what do we run on? Social media, influences, the media, books and magazines, experts, doctors. There's a lot of people telling us what to do. But here's a great question to ask, and there's three places to really consider uh, where information should come from, or you should run it through these filters. Your brain, your heart, and your gut. What's your gut feeling about this exercise or this diet? Is it really going to work for you? What does your heart say? Do you really think that you want to do this for the rest of your life? Will your heart be in it? And your brain, your logical, common sense, wise brain, whether you're 13, 33 or 103, you've lived some life. Would it be a really good idea to ask some questions about, should I chase the stick? Now the girls, could they just do it because it's instinct? But if everybody's chasing a stick over a, a stick over a cliff as humans, should you go and run over the cliff just because everybody else is? It's one of my favourite quotes when it comes to being stupid. 50 million people doing a stupid thing doesn't mean it's not a stupid thing. But it seems that we follow, we do what everybody else is doing, and we line up for it. Sometimes it's like, oh, well, if everyone else is doing it, I better do it too. What about this? Does it make sense? What does your head say? What does your heart say? Will your heart be in it? And what does your gut say? A lot of exercises, for example, if you analyze them from your gut feeling, you can, you can just look at them and say, my gut's telling me that if I do that exercise, it's gonna hurt me, hurt my back, hurt my knee, hurt my joint. It's a waste of time, it won't work. And just because a guru tells you that it's a good idea, just because an expert says you should do this, at our house we often have a giggle because my gorgeous husband came in, is a sports strength and conditioning coach, one of the first ever in Australia. He understands anatomy and physiology and biomechanics and how the human body works. And he analyzes every single exercise that every athlete does from how the human body works. And as, the, as we joke at our house often, a lot of elite athletes seem to be successful despite their training, not because of it. Because a lot of their training is going to hurt their joint and it might not be today or tomorrow and it might not even be before the next Olympic Games. But sometime in the future they're going to get a sore neck, sore back, sore knee, sore elbow, sore feet because of the way that they're training. But that's not just because he's a, 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 an elite athlete trainer, because he's a sports strength and conditioning coach, because he's a sports scientist. But predominantly, K-Man can analyze an ex exercise effectively because he's got common sense, logic and wisdom. But so have you and so have I. And I always use this example. If you're on a, uh, in a construction, on a construction site, in a workplace, in a warehouse, and somebody told you to pick up a box and throw it above your head to the next person, or somebody told you to pick up a box that's, that's heavy and to throw it at speed, or to pick up a box and turn and throw it, uh, the person who told you to do that would probably get sued because it's dangerous for your body. You wouldn't do that because it's going to hurt your joints. And yet in the gym it seems really normal to pick something up and throw it at speed, to pick something up and throw it with, with a uh, rotational movement. You only have to trust your own common sense, logic and wisdom, trust your own gut to say that's not going to be a good idea. So we might not be dogs with great instinct, but I think we are. I think as humans, if we really think for ourselves rather than follow the crowd, rather than be a sheeple, and I'm in the South Island of New Zealand, one of the most beautiful places in the world. There's a lot of sheep here. But what I always find fascinating, and, it, and I saw it happen today, there'll be a group of sheep together. One sheep will go in, in a certain direction and they all follow along. Well, I don't want to be the follower. I want to be the leader. How about you? So think for yourself. Trust your gut. Use your brain. Trust your heart. Live your life to the max as a healthy, fit, strong human being rather than following what everybody else does. Live your life to the max. What do you reckon, little girls, who are chasing happily chasing sticks? Because it's their instinct to do it, isn't it, darling? Go, Louie Moo. Woohoo! She's got it. <laughs>